I actually haven't touched my Nintendo Switch in three weeks. I have put it on charger, but that is it. So you know, I'm not up to date on what's new on the Switch. I'm not up to date on anything because there's only been one game for me the past three weeks. This game that I'm playing right now, it is, as of right now, my game of the year. And you know, game of the year official video from me will be coming in December, you know, at the end of the year. But yeah, pretty sure that this one is gonna top all the lists. Um, you know, I'm also gonna have Ghost of Tsushima on there and some other games. Now, I have probably played Genshin Impact for 100 hours and how I calculated this number, if you know what I mean, is because I've been playing it every day since the 28th of September and some days I have had gaming sessions up to, the, I think the most extreme one was 12 hours in one day. Other than that, my sessions are everything between 3 hours and up to 7-8 hours every day. So, you know, every waking hour of my day when I don't have to do anything else, basically. So yeah, I, it feels like I've been playing Genshin for over 100 hours. So um, this is more or less my current and or final verdict of Genshin Impact. Because I know some of you guys have not tried it yet. And I know a lot of you are currently playing it and loving it just as much as I do. But I want to tell you all my experiences with the game so far. Um, because I have a lot of experiences with this game right now. I have a lot of things that I could say about the game. So I'm gonna go over the most uh, essential points that I find to be the most interesting. Just a quick look at my progression in the game. I currently have five characters at level 70. I can't ascend them more before I am rank 40. I am currently at adventure rank 38 and my world level is four. I have been focusing a lot on doing all the quests, all the dailies every day, and achievement hunting. Some of the better and more time-consuming achievements that I've done is completing the entire region of Mondstadt, the entire first region, including all the chests and all the sealies. I'm now working my way through Li Yue, which is the second region. The first region, Mondstadt, is pretty much like a European theme and the second region is more old Chinese themed. There are coming more regions to the game so I'm also looking forward to seeing more of the world. When it comes to money, I have spent $76 in the game, $20 on the battle pass which I found to be really worth it, $5 on the blessing which is also really worth it, and the rest I have spent in the gacha wish system. I didn't get anything good from that so I feel like $25 of this was worth it and the rest I mean I got a racer but I feel good about supporting the game because like I said in the last Genshin video you don't have to spend money in this game. Well the thing is if you're having so much fun in a game that you find yourself enjoying it for like 100 hours like I have, it is just common courtesy, I guess, to support the developers and support the game a tiny bit. So that is what I, I feel good about having done that. But I have no reason to spend any more money now because I have pretty much all the characters that I want, I guess. The only character that I really want to have right now is Mona, so that I can go Mona Lisa, water and electrical. Mona Lisa, see what they did there. So when it comes to it being worth it, Battle Pass and Blessing is worth it. Now, the Switch version of this game. Every day someone is asking me when is the Switch version coming out and to be honest I have no idea why it isn't out. But I have a feeling from what I googled that the developers wanted to make sure that the versions that are out right now, they are focusing on them being smooth and running properly before focusing on another system. So the game is currently out on PC, Android, iOS, which I forgot to include in my last video. iOS is also a thing and PlayStation 4. It has cross-save on all platforms except PlayStation 4, which is its own save realm. But everyone can play with everyone. Truly. You can play on PC with someone on PlayStation 4. So that is good. So anyways, the Switch version, they are working on it, but they are just prioritizing the PC, Android, iOS and PS4 versions to run smoothly first. So all my five-star items, I bet you want to know what they are. 
On my first roll in the entire game, I got Kiki. I was lucky. It is actually pronounced Chi Chi, but I've said Kiki for, for an eternity now. She's a healer, so I can see why everyone wants her. I'm really lucky to have her. And I actually also recently got Venti as a 90 pity roll. If you play the game, you know what I mean when I say pity roll. Because every 90 roll in the wish system, you're guaranteed to get a five star um, character and I got 20. I also have two weapons that are five stars and that is the Lost Prayers to the Sacred Winds, which I use on my Lisa. And I just now, yesterday, got a five star bow that I put on 20. So all my characters as of right now, I have Traveler, Chi Chi, Venti, Shang Ling, Lisa, Razor, Barbara, Noel, Fischl, Amber and Kaya. Now, I also want to say that when you get further into the game, it is important to actually build up two healers because in the Spiral Abyss, which is important, you will need two healers at one point because you're playing on two split parties. Everyone has Barbara because she is included more or less for free right now, but I'm lucky to have Chi Chi as well. So yeah, build two healers, that is a pro tip. Now, another really pro tip is that don't spend all your XP books on everyone. Focus on one character being strong at first in the game, then maybe two characters being super strong in the game first, and then three and then four. And try not to spend XP books on the characters that you're not going to use in battle. I mean, like Amber and Kaya. I don't, I never use them because XP books is the way to level up characters in the game and they are, later in the game, maybe hard to come by. Another tip is that do the dailies every day because they give actually the best payoff in terms of adventure rank experience and it is so important to get your adventure rank up. So dailies every day and also look into weeklies and into the battle pass you can see weeklies and seasonal and dailies. Try to do everything there and kind of related to this, always pay attention to and do the quests that you get in your adventure handbook. That is also the best way to rank up in the game. Everything that is in that book is recommended to do as soon as you can. Now obviously I also recommend spending the original resin every day so that it can regenerate up. Now. In Genshin Impact, there are currently two continents, like I said, but there has been announced to come out seven. Seven continents in total. Now, the next continent is actually not far away. <sighs> and I'm so excited for more content to this game. And I'm really happy that they are going to be working on this game, it seems like, for a very long time forward. I mean, in time to come. So a lot of people ask me, is this a multiplayer game or is it a single player game? And I want to answer that it is really good single player and also fun multiplayer. But I have played this mostly single player. It is fun both ways, is probably what people wanted to hear. Another thing I find really convenient with Genshin is that it has mobile cross save. Like, if I'm not by my computer, I can take up my phone and do my dailies. It is so convenient. This kind of makes me wonder if it will be cross-save to the Nintendo Switch when the Switch version is out. I have no idea. I have a bad feeling that it won't be. Just like with PlayStation 4, it will be its separate realm of save files. I don't think I want to start Genshin all over again when it comes to the Switch, so I am gonna just continue, most likely, to PC game Genshin, even when the Switch version is out. So, I mean, I, it's kind of weird that I haven't touched a, another game for, for all this time. That rarely happens. It is kind of unique. But Genshin is, f like, filling my every need when it comes to video games right now. It's truly fulfilling. It gives me everything that I want when I sit down with a video game. I also still stand by everything that I said in my first video that I made on Genshin just a few weeks ago. I think it is a 10 out of 10 game. Like, quality-wise, it's a 10 out of 10 game. Superb gameplay. Storytelling and voice acting and character diversity. So many characters. And the potential to drop even more characters. That is genius. The sense of freedom and the sense of progression 
constantly everywhere you look in the open world you have chests you have ceilings you have puzzles you have enemies you have all these things so it's so much fun to grind for materials every day <laughs> there's just plenty of things to do in the game and i don't run out of things to do in the game and the thing is, when you play these characters, you sort of get a special relationship to each and every one of them that you play a lot. Like, take me for example. I didn't like Shang Ling to begin with, but after playing her for such a long time, uh, and I love her elemental burst, uh, yeah, I've started to really enjoy and like my characters. They also have a bunch of backstory to them. You really get to know them, you know. So yeah, I haven't played anything else. I mean, I tried Among Us with my Discord uh, people <laughs> a tiny bit. And it was fun. I was not the imposter. Now I got some questions to include from Stephanie on the Discord. That is, what is your favorite build and stats? I mostly, in the beginning of the game anyway, went for attack percentage. That is the best one. Now, recently I am focusing on that, of course, but also on crit rate percentage and crit damage percentage. So those are my favorite stats to look for when I am building my characters. Some exceptions though is Barbara, she builds off of HP, it makes her heal better. What are your favorite farming routes? I can show you on the map. I farm for the ascension materials for Chi Chi at this location. I farm for slimes at this location, which is really good, and on this location. Everyone needs slimes in this game for their ascension, like the whole bunch of them now are needing slimes. Favorite weapon in the game, Fav I guess favorite weapon type, is actually Catalyst. This brings me to my next question as well. Who is your favorite character? That is Lisa. Lisa is an electrical mage which uses Catalyst, which is like a book or, a, or an orb sort of thing. The reason why I just find myself to love her combat and playstyle the most is because she can fight in a long range. More so than the bow and arrow users, I feel like. More accurate, anyway. So I don't have to move around so much. I can stand in one place and I can spam the button and she reaches everyone. I find it so good. So catalysts are my favorite weapon type. Now this is becoming a really long video, but I'm gonna end the video by telling you about some collabs that I have been joining lately. I have made a collab video with James Lugo here on YouTube and we talked about the Switch online service in his video over at his channel. That is an exclusive video on his channel, link down below. Another collab that I have done is with 8-Bit Eric again. We haven't collabed in a long while, but finally we did. I was on his channel talking about my most anticipated upcoming PlayStation 5 games. That is also a really cool video. I gave it my all. So I really would like you to check out that video as well. Link below. Other than that, I have been on my cousin's channel a lot. A bunch. There's so many videos on there with me in it. And I am talking about games I recommend to him. And I'm also in the video where he talks about his top 10 computer games. So a bunch of things in that channel as well. So go over there and check him out as well. Subscribe to all of these. And I think that is pretty much everything that I wanted to cover today. I just wanted to tell you guys that I haven't played anything lately except Genshin. So I was like, Jesus Christ, I haven't uploaded in like 10, 12 days on YouTube, uh, but I haven't played anything either. So what do I update my YouTube channel with? <laughs> the game that I have been playing, obviously. It is what came naturally to me. I wanted to talk more about Genshin because it's, uh, I love it. Love it. Like, truly love it. It's like if Atelier series and Tales of series and Zelda made a baby uh, with a sprinkle of World of Warcraft vibes on top of that. That is Genshin Impact for you. I don't know if you guys know this, but actually hitting a like on a video helps a YouTuber out. I'm sure you knew that. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna end it here, so, you know. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you later.